Whoever is looking for a powerful laser engraving machine has surely come across this one, the S1 from Xtool, because it is indeed a fabulous laser engraving machine, as I was able to test with you in the last video. The only obvious downside to this device is, of course, its size and weight, because the laser requires a lot of space and is difficult to transport, making it really suited for stationary use. On the other hand, anyone who needs a nice, compact laser engraving machine that can even be used on the go will definitely find what they're looking for in today's video. Today, I have the ultimate all-in-one laser from Xtool for you, the F1. It's a super compact and handy device with enough power to work with various materials. We'll take an in-depth look at what else this laser has to offer and how it performs in the test in today's video. I hope you're as excited as I am. So, let's start right after the intro. If you haven't done so yet, quickly subscribe to this channel for free and activate the bell to not miss any videos. You can find the current prices to support this channel in the video description below. Thank you very much for your support, and now, let's get started after the intro. After thoroughly testing the high-end engraving laser from Xtool, the S1, in a previous video, today we have another video, this time on a significantly more compact all-in-one device, the F1. For those who haven't seen the video on this laser yet, you should definitely catch up, because this thing is absolutely amazing. You can find the video now at the top right on the info card or on my channel. Today's video is all about this compact colleague up here. I'm excited to see what we can really expect from this handy engraving laser. I suggest we start directly with the contents of the package. From the relatively compact product box of the F1, we find quite a lot of contents. At the top, after opening, we find the well-illustrated user manual in several languages. Directly below is a thick foam insert to protect the sensitive laser and accessories during transport. After removing this, we find the actual engraving laser in the center and four small green boxes around it. In this, we find the small accessories for the laser, such as the power supply for electrical power, a USB Type-C cable for connection to the computer, the safety key and exhaust hose, a very generous material set, and a grid support. Lastly, in the middle of the product box, we have the main attraction, the F1 itself. Note that there are additional accessories inside the laser, namely the base plate with the fixation device still packed in foam. Caution, be careful not to accidentally throw these away. And here we have it in front of us, the brand new F1, along with its accessories. Setting up and commissioning the laser is extremely simple and self-explanatory. At the bottom of the back of the laser are the main ports, with the USB Type-C port for the computer on the side. After connecting to the PC, we need to update the laser with the latest firmware through the Creative Space application. This means performing a quick software update. The whole process takes a few minutes, and then the laser is ready for use, easily recognized by the PC, and we can start engraving. Before we take a detailed look at the laser in practice, Let's first take a quick look at all the technical highlights the device has to offer, as there are indeed several features that distinguish this laser. Looking at the exterior first, I believe I haven't promised too much, because as you can see in the video and from the displayed dimensions, the laser is incredibly compact. Additionally, the device without the base plate weighs only 4,482 grams, making it extremely light and handy compared to all these large lasers and thus significantly easier to transport and handle. This is where the first major advantage of this device comes into play, as we can use it both stationary and mobile. As you can see, there are two large rubberized feet on the bottom, ensuring the device stands firmly on the table without slipping and causing erroneous engravings. On the other side, as you can see at the top, there is a large metal handle allowing us to transport the device easily and perform mobile engravings. More on that later. Around the exterior, just like with the S1 laser, there's a protective cover made of green transparent plastic, so we don't need to wear laser safety glasses while engraving in the closed state, 
and can still easily observe the current progress of the engraving. It's worth mentioning, the laser operates both in the closed and open state. I find it extremely practical that the laser protective cover can be locked in any position. Additionally, as shown, it has another small metal handle on the front, allowing us to move the cover comfortably. It's important to try to grip it in the middle to avoid accidental tilting. Otherwise, the mechanism works very well. Inside the laser, as one might expect, is the heart of the device, the built-in diode laser with the engraving surface directly below it. Due to the compactness of the engraving laser, the engraving surface is also relatively small. Specifically, we have an effective working area of 115 by 115 millimeters. Calculated, that's 13,225 square millimeters, which, as can be seen from the graphic, is extremely small compared to the larger devices. However, this device is not designed for that purpose. The F1 is really intended for small, intricate engravings, and for that, this engraving surface is completely sufficient in my opinion. But that's not all, because if you ever want to engrave larger objects, like this 230 millimeter long wooden board, Xtool offers a practical solution with additional modules, specifically the slide extensions, allowing for the engraving of significantly larger or longer objects. With this optional module, we have a much larger engraving area of 115 by 400 millimeters in length. This is particularly recommended for those who want to engrave really large objects or multiple small ones side by side. If you want a separate video on this part, feel free to write it in the comments below. I'll then link the video in the top right info card or on my channel. As mentioned, the standard engraving area of the laser is quite compact, targeting smaller objects. Looking more closely at the base of the machine, another significant advantage stands out, which very few devices offer. This advantage pertains to the base plate. As you can see, both the base plate and the surrounding support surface have several small cutouts where we can easily mount the included stops. This provides a huge practical advantage, allowing us to perform mass production easily, such as engraving business cards. Once we have the perfect alignment in our project, we can engrave numerous business cards in the same position without any trouble. On the other hand, as also seen, the base plate can be easily removed, allowing us to engrave objects placed underneath the laser. This provides great flexibility for the laser. This means I can engrave objects that cannot be moved or that do not fit on the laser's engraving surface, such as walls, individual tiles, tables, or similar items. As mentioned earlier, I can easily transport the laser and hold it against the objects to apply the engraving. The only thing to keep in mind is to hold the laser steadily and not move it a millimeter during engraving, otherwise the engraving will be blurry. In my experience, this is not a big problem. As mentioned, the laser is not very heavy, and secondly, the device is extremely fast, as we will see shortly. This means that the engraving process doesn't take long in practice. Now, let's take a look at the heart of the F1, the built-in laser unit. Upon closer inspection, it is evident that this is still a great all-around device. The F1 has two lasers built in. One is a powerful diode laser with 455 nanometers, meaning blue laser light, and a power of 10 watts, and the other is an infrared laser with 10,064 nanometers and 2 watts of power. In terms of pure power, the F1, with its 10 watts, is quite low compared to other large lasers we've already tested, as you can see in the graphic. However, from practical experience, I can say that the 10 watts of power are entirely sufficient for this extremely small engraving area to create beautiful engravings. What is far more interesting about this laser is not the power, but the enormous speed that the device offers. Since we do not have a movable laser head in this case, which gradually moves over the entire material as with the S1, but instead, the laser glides over the material, the working speed is significantly higher. Specifically, the F1 has an impressive laser speed of 4,000 millimeters per second. Looking at the comparison graphic, you can clearly see that the laser has over six times the working speed compared to the devices we've already tested. In practice, this results in particularly efficient completion of projects. For example, image engravings with the right settings can be completed in no time, whereas normally 
you'd have to wait many minutes, maybe even hours. Similarly, mass production and the like can be done within seconds. This is especially practical if you want results in a very short time without having to wait long. Another huge advantage, as already mentioned, is that we have not one, but two lasers built in. A blue laser with 10 watts of power and another infrared laser with 2 watts of power. This allows us to engrave not only all the objects placed here, but also metals, stainless steel, gold, silver, and similar materials. We can apply engravings to these objects and materials, which we cannot do with the regular blue laser. For example, I've conducted numerous test engravings in advance to see how the laser behaves on different materials at different speeds and power levels. Not just metal, but also wood, glass, plastic, leather, slate, and the like. As mentioned before, the huge advantage of this laser is that it has both an infrared and a regular laser, allowing us to engrave on virtually all materials. Furthermore, it's quite practical that, as mentioned before, there's a large material set included in the delivery where we can perform all the test engravings to see how the laser behaves on the material and what settings are needed for each specific material. It's very important to note the settings used for the engraving somewhere so you can retrieve them later if you find the perfect settings for that material. But it's not just the versatility regarding the materials that's remarkable. The precision of the laser is also noteworthy. Looking at this in comparison to the already tested devices, you can see that this laser, with a spot size of 0.0048 square millimeters, is on the same level as the S1. The infrared laser, on the other hand, is even more compact with a spot size of 0.009 square millimeters. This allows for extremely delicate engravings in practice, such as high resolution images or text. I tested this by engraving text in various font sizes on this metal lid. As you can see, from very large to very small, I performed numerous engravings. I don't know if it can be seen well on camera, but with a magnifying glass, you can still see even the tiny inscriptions at the bottom, which indicates the extremely high precision of the laser. Overall, we can engrave dozens of materials with this laser. For example, here are a few different leather coasters that I made with this laser, and something I find very interesting, three small storage containers. For instance, you can label them with salt and pepper, or use them to store coffee beans, spices, and similar items. The only limitation here is really your personal creativity. To ensure the engravings are always placed correctly, especially for smaller engravings, like on this small pendant, the laser has another major advantage, a so-called live preview. You can choose to project only the outline of your engraving onto the object or the final result to see how it will look on the object. For small objects, this is possible. For much larger, more complex engravings, you cannot display the entire engraving. It is recommended to project just the frame, which makes it very easy in practice to align the object so that the engraving is exactly in the center. As you can see, the functionality of the F1 is vast, including the software capabilities. I would recommend using the proprietary software, whether on a smartphone or a computer. That's right, the device can also be controlled from a smartphone, allowing you to engrave images directly from your phone. The only point I would recommend is, as mentioned earlier, to use proprietary software, the Creative Space application. This works better with the laser than third-party software like Lightburn. While third-party software offers more customization options, it does not always work as smoothly with the device as you would like. Overall, I must admit that I'm really impressed with the X-Tool F1 engraving laser. The device is not only super compact and handy, making it easy to transport, but also easy to use, both technically and in terms of software. Additionally, thanks to the two built-in lasers, we have a vast range of applications regarding materials. This means we can engrave almost any material we want, and, as we've seen, we can do it in a very short time. For anyone looking for a compact, all-in-one engraving laser that can engrave small to medium-sized objects, I would definitely recommend the F1 from X-Tool. What do you think of this laser? Have you had any experiences with it? Feel free to share your opinion about this device in the comments below. I'm looking forward to your feedback. As usual, you can find the current prices for this device in the video description below. Thank you for supporting this channel.
If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up to help promote it. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel for free and activate the bell to not miss any videos. And with that, I'd say take care, stay healthy, and see you next time. Goodbye.